Okay, so we're going to take a look at Autodesk Remote. This is an application that lets you control your software that is on your Windows desktop, Windows 7 and 8, 32-bit or 64-bit, as you can see here, via your iPad. Okay, so if you go to the Autodesk Exchange Store, you can go exchangeautodesk.com or appsexchange.autodesk.com and you should be able to find Autodesk Remote. Uh, you'll install that on your PC, uh, install the companion app on your iPad, and then you can go to work and start uh, controlling things. So right here I have the Autodesk Remote application here. It's a very simple uh, UI here. You've got your remote access, you're turning it on or off. You can set up a screen for your computer. If you're working with multiple computers, this could be helpful. Uh, settings here let you remap what you're doing with the virtual keyboard on your uh, tablet. And then when you go to connection, basically what you're doing is controlling the resolution. So by default it goes to best fit, otherwise you can specify a resolution that you're interested in. So I have turned this on, and I'll just go to my tablet, my iPad. Okay, so let's take a look at the iPad side of this. Once you've installed the app and started up, it will do a search for machines that are uh, within range and if you have more than one you'll see them and when you're ready you just come in here and hit connect and in a moment this will uh, switch over to the, the PC login just to make sure that someone's not getting into your machine that they don't want, that you don't want. Okay, so once you are logged in, you can then go to your desktop and see what's uh, what's happening, and you could you could start to work on it uh, as you would normally expect. So if we take a look here, at, this is one of the example end cloth scenes. I can just play it back, and you can see the frame rate that we're getting here. So that's that's pretty decent. This is. Uh, essentially, what I'm getting on the, on the PC. So, if this were some kind of uh, animation or effects thing that you wanted to review with some of your colleagues, you could do that and carry that around to them instead of uh, making them come to your machine. Or they could log in from from their iPad and uh, give you feedback from across the room if that's easier that way. So let's stop that. Look at a couple other basic things here. Uh, let's just do a, a new scene. A little bit of a weird angle here for me, so bear with me while I'm trying to uh, click on things properly. So if we were to just create a couple of primitives here, again, just trying to do this uh, in a way that uh, makes sense. So I'm in component mode here. There we go, back into object mode. <clears throat> I can start moving these things around. Let's just bring this somewhere back here. There is a little bit of a lag here, and I'm a little bit close to the router, which can actually cause some shadowing things. So if I were, or were farther away, uh, I could have some better performance. So we should be able to get into shaded mode here. I can get the right angle on this. There we go. Now, what's uh, pretty cool about Autodesk Remote is that you've got your uh, standard hotkeys across the bottom here. So if we wanted to actually uh, work like you would in Maya with two hands where you're going to hold the Alt key and left mouse button, you can start to tumble. If I were to use two fingers, you can see I've got my zoom or dolly control there. Wrong. 
So let's get in a little closer so you can see how that works. A little bit uh, awkward from the angle I'm working on, but if, if you're sitting in with it in your lap in a normal straight on uh, mode, it gets pretty easy to work with. You can also <coughs> do standard things like uh, access other apps that you might have going on or actually go in here and start typing so if you were doing some scripting or uh, manipulating values on things you can you can do that as well so it works works pretty well and uh, I would encourage you to give it a shot if you have an iPad and a PC to work together so hopefully hopefully this makes sense and you can try it out uh, one more thing when you're finished you can just hit the X and your session and then you're logged back out. So if you want to log in again, you'll connect and you'll have to enter the password.